All right, what's going on, dudes? Welcome back. Hopefully you didn't miss me too badly last weekend. I actually meant to mention in the last blog I posted a couple weeks ago that there wasn't going to be one last weekend because I was gone at PAX, but I totally forgot when I was recording it, so my bad. Hopefully you can forgive me for that little mishap. Uh, to be honest, actually, vlogs might be a little bit sporadic here and there over the course of the next few weeks because I'm going to be traveling a lot, actually. So I leave on my next trip this coming Friday, and then I come back from that uh, a couple days later on the following Monday, and then the very next day, that Tuesday, I leave again, and then I come back a few days later on Friday, um, and then like a week or two later I should be heading out again, and then uh, that trip will be for a few days, and then I think I'm good on the traveling, at least for a little while. Who knows what the future may hold, but that's all that I have on the immediate agenda. So, yeah. Anyway, um, while I'm away, since I usually like to record vlogs on or around, and my lighting is just changing <laughs> in the room as this is recording. I don't know if you're noticing that. Anyway, I like to record vlogs on or around the same day that I post, so it doesn't really work out too well when I'm traveling. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd give you the heads up about that, but... Uh, I thought I'd talk a little bit about PAX, which is where I was at last weekend, as I just mentioned. That was over in Boston, and it was super fun. To be honest, I didn't actually get to play that many games. When I go to these conventions, I usually much more so end up just hanging out with people who I don't get to see very often, because people in the whole YouTube gaming thing with doohickey are spread out all over the world, needless to say. Through the magic of Skype, we can talk to each other on a regular basis, but not actually, like, in person. So, more often than not, I'm just sort of wandering around with, with friends and, and stuff. Got to play a couple games. Um, Dungeon Defenders 2 was uh, was pretty cool. I got to play the, uh, the Dota-style mode that they're implementing in it um, alongside the, the co-op tower defense, which you've probably seen on my channel in the past because I posted quite a bit of Dungeon Defenders. Um, so they're they're still having the co-op tower defense, but then they added a, a Dota mode. Uh, third person, sort of like Smite, actually, and that's a, another mode alongside. It was pretty cool. I still have to email the, the guy I talked to so I can hopefully get myself a beta key. We'll see. Anyway, who knows? Um, who knows if I'll get a response, but fingers crossed. Yeah! So that was like, that was kind of the main game I played. <laughs> I had a media pass, but the, the thing is I was with a lot of people who didn't. So I didn't want to like go to the, cause I think you can go to the front of the line or you can say, hey media, um, can I play the game? I feel awkward doing that, but you can do it. But when you're with a bunch of other people who don't necessarily have media badges, you can't be like, and hey, I want them to tag along too. So it's just like, hey, let's just hang out together. Um, yeah. I uh, ran into a lot of you guys, which was awesome, just walking around the uh, the floor, and then, holy crap, I tweeted out that, that there was going to be a meetup thing one day, and I didn't expect that many people to show up, maybe, I don't know, like 10 or so, something like that, and there were literally like over 100 people, and it was awesome, and we held like a dance contest to get some gear because uh, Razor was giving away some stuff at the same time, sort of organized the meetup like together, and so there were some contests for some swag giveaways and it was awesome, and I'm super happy that like I got to get to, to like saying hi to everyone, and um, yeah, at least everyone that stuck around, so it was sweet. Um, so thanks for showing up, if you did it was a pleasure meeting all of you, and uh, yeah good times. So, you may have actually caught me mentioning in the, uh, the last episode of Modded Survival that it was a good thing I didn't book any interviews because um, my voice ran out after day one. There was a, a party after day one and, uh, well, parties have loud music and I was trying to communicate with people over said loud music and my voice ran out. So the next two days I was just like, uh, I can't really speak at all. And I was... <laughs> It would crack, and it was just, it was very, it was very, very unpleasant, but uh, I guess I, I made do. I was still able to, to talk somewhat. Um, yeah. So that was PAX. It was good times. The next convention will be E3, but that's more, like, industry-oriented, so um, I think unless people actually pay, like, I think it's like $1,000, or at least last year, if you just want to, without an industry connection, go in, 
it's absurd. Um, so needless to say, not too many uh, non-industry folk go to that, but then afterwards, there's uh, PAX Prime, and that is in, uh, it's usually like late August to beginning of September, either or. Um, and that's in Seattle, and hopefully that'll go similar to PAX East, except maybe some more like highly anticipated titles, because um, I know that there weren't, there weren't too many at, uh, at PAX East this past weekend. I know Blizzard announced their card game thingamadoo hickey. I think everyone was expecting Blizzard Dota, Blizzard All-Stars, whatever you want to call it, but uh, it was not meant to be, I guess. Uh, I would have been excited about that because I play Dota quite a bit, but uh, whatever, whatever, dude. And, um, well, right after I got back from PAX, the next day I went and picked up my new computer, so that was good. That was like a good way to sort of get back into things, and uh, it's all set up now. Videos are being recorded on it. They're being rendered and uploaded and stuff, and uh, it seems to be working pretty well. So specs, if you're interested, because lots of people do ask, um, it's like whatever the the highest end hex core Sandy Bridge is. So I think it's the 3970X or 3990. I don't exactly know the model number. Um, it's got a Titan GPU and uh, it's got 32 gigs of RAM, and those are sort of like the the main specs that I think most people care about. It's got a solid state and uh, 512 solid state and a two terabyte uh, data drive. So good stuff. It should last a while. Um, yeah, man. So that's, uh, I think that's about it for this little vlog. Um, oh, if you want to see a picture of the computer, I posted one on Twitter and Facebook. Those are always linked in the uh, description. Other than that though, thanks for watching dudes. And um, I'll see you next time.